my name is Christina Mangurian. I'm a professor and vice chair for diversity and health equity in the Department of Psychiatry. I'm also um, affiliated with the um, Department of uh, Epidemiology and Biostatistics. What led me to participate in this project was just um, wanting to address stigma um, towards mental illness. So as a psychiatrist, I understand uh, how much this um, actually interferes with people getting care they deserve. Uh, so I see it all the time and I think about it quite a bit. Um, and so I really uh, thought this project was so important because it was a way to really help our UCSF community and beyond um, understand that, you know, mental illness is among us, you know, and, and a lot of people are, um, have struggled or will struggle and that it's a, you know, these are medical conditions and you can get um, psychotherapy or um, psychopharmacologic treatment for these. And so it felt like really right to participate in this program and I'm really grateful for the opportunity. Uh, I mean, the, the main um, experience that I had was really struggling with postpartum depression. I wish um, that people not feel as much that it's something, a fault of theirs. Um, and we're able to, again, view it as like, oh, it's just like, you know, if you have diabetes, you take some insulin. Like, you know, if you're feeling depressed, you go to psychotherapy or get medications, you know, whatever, whatever feels right for you and is right with your doctor, but that it not be so um, viewed, about, viewed as a, a personal fault. Um, and, and that people don't want to be stigmatized, you know, to, for going out and seeking care. And, and I think that's part of this is, you know, so hard. This is a risk, right? Everybody that's presenting for you, even though we've got a pretty inclusive environment at UCSF, everyone's still taking a risk getting up here and sharing their stories. I, I wish people didn't have to feel like they were taking a risk to share this um, and share their human experience, um, especially right now during uh, COVID. I just feel like so many people are struggling and they're struggling alone. So if your patient's struggling, you tell them to go get care. If you're struggling, you go get care. It's hard to sit on the other side. It's very, very hard to stop being the doctor and move over to the other side. But actually, if you want to be the best provider you can be, and this is for the doctors, the nurses, the pharmacists, the staff who support us, the trainees, if you want to be the best provider you can be, you, can be, you need to be healthy. And that involves taking care of your mental health, you know? And so it's all, I consider it as part of, you know, exercising is important as is, you know, and making sure my mental well-being is good. And exercise is actually a part of that for me, <laughs> you know, going on walks. Go get care if you feel like you're struggling. And you know if you're struggling. You know if you're feeling anxious and up at night or not sleeping or not hanging out with your friends or um, not, you know, not able to do your homework or, you know, whatever it might be um, and removing some of the barriers so that people can get that care that they deserve. I think the students are, have been doing much, you know, tend to lead the way of a lot of this stuff. They tend to um, kind of challenge the status quo and, you know, um, help nudge us closer to, you know, our ideal where we should be and you know where UCSF should be it should be a place where we care about the health not just of the patients we serve but the health of our whole community and so we need to do better and this is a step towards that more more perfect union at UCSF <laughs> um, as I see it.